These are some of the craziest transitions I've seen ever in an ITZY video. And that's saying a lot, because before we've seen ones like this. So let's break them down from a pro editor perspective. True or fake? Immediately fake. How are both of them in the same shot? I have a feeling that this is gonna come up over and over in this video. It's called motion controlled cameras. It's a little known secret on how to create clones of yourself in the same scene with a moving camera. So Itzy comes out, we have a game show going on, real or fake, and then here they are again. And if you look really closely at the edge of their hairline, you can kind of tell that it's a little bit fake. This right here, it looks really good. If you look right here, there's a little bit of an outline because they had to rotoscope out the foreground and put it on top of this background. But because the camera movement is the exact same, it looks really good. What an amazing opening shot, especially with the background, like it's so good. A similar camera movement between that cut. There's so much to break down. Right off the- Oh, I just bit my cheek. Yeah, that feels bad. <laughs> so our girl pushes the camera away, which creates a match cut in camera movement because as the camera's moving back, we cut to the next shot of the camera moving back. And this is another motion controlled camera shot. It's like one of those art installations where it just looks like a jumble of random junk. And then when you look at it from the perfect angle, it creates a beautiful image. And this song is called Cheshire, which is a cat from Alice in Wonderland. But we're gonna get into the lore of that and the deep meaning behind this song later. That is such a cool idea though. All right, I could talk about this for like 10 hours, but we're gonna talk about two things. Number one, this amazing VHS transition. Normally when you have a VHS transition, you just slap a filter on top and it makes a little glitch and then you go to the next shot. But this transition actually manipulated the footage below it and distorted it. You can see all these distorting lines, you can see the light, everything's all displaced. And you actually can do that in After Effects by using a displacement map. I really destroyed the footage that's underneath to make it look like a real VHS transition. 10 out of 10 for that. And then lastly, listen for this fill right here. We have fast cuts when the kick drum comes in right on the fill of a song. If you wanna do fast cuts, guys, put it on a fill of the song, especially when the drums cut in. Fast cuts and drum fills are like two peas in a pod. They love each other. And these fast cuts are so good because we start on this U sign with the dart target, and then we whip the camera to the side, which creates this colorful streak. And then the next shot also has colorful streaks going on in the background. So we're actually creating a colorful streak match cut. It is so smooth, so good. <laughs> The way it disappeared to- Oh my god! Alright, let's play a game called Guess What Jordan Is Thinking. I'm thinking of a game where you can team up with other players and play PvE boss battles, or you can fight in global PvP matches to be the champion of the world. You know what I'm thinking about? Raid Shadow Legends. Use my QR code or links below to download Raid yourself onto your mobile phone or PC. It's Raid's third year anniversary, and to celebrate, we're gonna go over my top three reasons that you should play Raid. Number one, I'm waiting for my video to export all the time, so what am I gonna do? Just whip out Raid Shadow Legends. It's a great way to take a break and have some fun. Number two, I freaking love strategy games. I love them. They work out my brain and my imagination, and Raid does that so well. Number three, Raid Shadow Legends goes deep, okay? They always have new bosses to conquer and new champions to play, and the lore goes crazy. So if you like storytelling, Raid's a good game for you. Raid's got some extra special happening right now. They just released a legendary champion based off of MMA fighter and pro wrestler Ronda Rousey. You can get Ronda for free right now, whether you're a new player or a longtime player. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for seven days between now and February 20th, and Ronda's all yours. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get your exclusive rewards in Raid right now. To celebrate Ronda's arrival in Raid, you can also use the promo code RAIDRONDA to get a bunch of stuff like a three-day 100% XP boost, 500k silver, and five full energy refills. And there's also more rewards. New players, click the link below or use my QR code right here and get a free starter pack worth $30. A free champion Tyrell and also this cool in-game loot. You will find your rewards here in the inbox for the next 30 days only. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you in-game. Shit's so good. The camera. We're never gonna make it through this. <laughs>
We're never gonna make it. This is a good thing though. This is really, really fun. The camera zooms, incredible. We actually do a jump cut here and we include a white frame that flashes and distracts our eyes so the jump cut isn't as jarring. But the reason this white frame is so well placed is because you can see this light from the corner coming in and then the editor simulates light actually hitting the lens and just blowing it out. Crazy attention to detail. And then lovely way to just rotoscope out the truck and then put all the stickers up behind them. And it actually looks like they tracked it in 3D space because you can see the parallax effect of the stickers to the background, which means that the stickers have like a 3D effect to them. We're 20 seconds <laughs> This is so good. More white flash jump cuts. White flash jump cuts. Lovely. This is a good time probably to talk about a little bit more about the concept of the song. It's called Cheshire. Cheshire is a fictional character. It's a cat notable for its broad grin and its ability to disappear and reappear at will in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, which is a book by Lewis Carroll, which they made into a bunch of movies. But one of the philosophies that the Cheshire cat lives by is that there's no right or wrong life is kind of just willy-nilly randomness. Cherry On said in an interview that the song's central message is having a positive attitude in life. It's hard to have faith in yourself, but just try to make a step because there's no right or wrong answers in life. And that's literally the message of the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland. Then it really doesn't matter which way you go. And that's literally what the lyrics say right here. Just like a Cheshire Cat, there's no right or wrong. Stop stressing, y'all. It's all gonna work out. I like it. Was there literally just an ad lib from a drop of water? Wow, that honestly made me laugh so much. Wow. Oh, so this is part of the game show, okay. So they dropped a piano and they're like, was it real or fake? You tell us. And the thing that's ironic about that is they are for sure like on a green screen right here. She is not in the shot. They are just green screened on to the background. Wow. The ceiling! This is a perfect example of how using a motion control camera can allow so much freedom to create impossible shots. They are duplicated all over in this purple scene, but let's talk about the shot that we're all wanting to hear. How the frick did they end up on the ceiling? They've been on the floor the entire time, and then right here is a whip pan up, and it doesn't even look like there's a cut in the whip pan. But the way that they designed the set, where there's this white light on the baseboards and the crown molding, it really helps blend the two shots together so you don't know which way is up and down. Right when they're stitching these two frames together, they probably actually took a normal shot and then they actually just flip the shot upside down so it looks like they're standing on the ceiling and then the camera flips upside down, which would then be right side up. Wow, that's confusing. If you followed that, well done. Let me try to simplify it. So they basically just stitched two shots together. One was right side up, one was upside down, and then it creates a ceiling floor effect. Pretty freaking neat. I also have this hunch that the wall is VFX. It maybe isn't, but I can't quite tell. It, something doesn't quite look real about it. Delete the background? Yeah. You can tell also in their choreography since the Cheshire Cat is also known for its giant grin. They're doing just a lot of like face choreography. And it looks really good. I don't know why the window that was in the computer came outside of the computer. I probably would have left a note to keep it in the computer. It's a weird small thing, but it just kind of threw me off. Yes! Okay, that's what was weird. Did you see that, guys? This stuff right here with the design and the doors and the question marks, that's all VFX, but the actual wall is real. So when they flipped upside down, these things remained static, and that's what really sold that upside down effect because the design on the wall is actually VFX. Oh my gosh, they're so smart. Sorry, guys, we're nerding out like crazy. Yes! There's just too many transitions to talk about. There's too many. I 
I just love that they're emphasizing the concept. What's real, what's fake? You guys gotta tell me, I don't know. They're pulling out every single filmmaking trick and transition that exists, shoving it all into this music video. And it's like a filmmaking magician show. It's so fun. And then I get to ruin it for everybody. <laughs> I really love how right here we cut to the beat, right on that fill again. It was a nice masking transition. Here's another motion control shot. And I believe they just turned the entire camera upside down and then used her in a green screen. If her hair was up somehow, perfect. That is a cool transition. I love that. You guys need to stop. You're breaking me. All right, let's talk about this green screen transition. My theory is that they created two rooms, a white colorful room and then a green room. And they actually used VFX on the white colorful room to turn it into a green screen room one panel at a time. Like this entire shot is VFX. Nothing in this shot is real. But then they jump cut to the real shot. Fake, real. You can tell that all the background elements, everything is VFX and then right here, like even look at the doorknobs. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you everyone. Thank you, I'm here all night. Ooh. It's just cool, it's like a VFX breakdown, but in a music video. Bro, if you've ever seen a VFX breakdown for like Star Wars, Marvel, ILM, which is Industrial Light and Magic, a huge VFX house, they do breakdowns like this. We have our real shot, and then we're gonna show you that like, okay, this is our shape. Here's our 3D space that we created. Here's our bomb. Just the, the controlled zooms that they put on that camera, like that stuff's so simple, but so effective. You're so good. Everything feels so good. Every single shot is so well planned out. It is nuts. They just go balls to the wall on this stuff, man. They really do. True or fake? We have two shots to break down, baby. So we do this really nice transition. We blur out the true or fake and then put it on a blend mode to keep the white, but get rid of the darker parts of the image. And then this is all VFX. I didn't figure out what this was at first, but I realized later that this is the piano falling in slow motion. And then this is one shot right here. If you look at the left side of the frame, it changes right on this frame to another shot where we're close up. And then there's one more shot right here. You can see how we get like two ears. And then we go into our third shot, which is like a super close up of the ear. So I assume we're going into her brain. And then here's the next trick, which is really fun. Like we've all seen that on TikTok where they throw it up and they're in a door frame and then they move and then the baby or the dog is just like. They actually used VFX for this because when she throws the curtain up, you can still see her silhouette. Like she's still there. She's still there. You can see her walking off and then she disappears. That's actually the real magic of VFX because she's still behind there. <laughs> wow. Just the tracking of the camera is so good. Oh, now they're just glitching out the set. They're like, all right, we're just gonna play with you now. Way to book end it with that first shot, baby. Oh, and the cat tail. If you wanna learn more about editing, filmmaking, hit the link in the description to join my inner circle. God bless you, love you guys, see ya.